We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star running back Jamarian Burnett, who signed with Houston. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're talking about the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason, player by player. You need to know what your players look like before they hit the field. But here's his 24-7 sports player profile page if you're here for just the highlights fast forward a little bit but we're a four-star prospect here with 24 7 sports in both the composite and in the rankings ranked as the 19th best running back in the class six foot one 220 pounds so we're a bigger running back we're a big boy especially coming out of high school we saw 26 offers which is a fair amount of offers considering you're ranked 19th among running backs 383rd in the composite so you're down there in the rankings but you're kind of up there in the offers auburn alabama so we got some power five programs looking at you so it's not like just the small schools are after you played in the alabama mississippi all-star game and we do have a scouting report letting us know that 24 7 sports was hot on his trails at one time unverified six foot one 225 pounds so it may not be correct might be more might be less he's a north south one cut runner Good in a power scheme, flashes above average patience, so we're going to have good vision too. Adequate short area burst and explosiveness, so we're going to be looking good in the second level once we get past that first wave of defenders. Very sudden and shifty, so he's going to have good vision. He's going to move laterally very well. I imagine he's going to be running over people. Very explosive in the second level, going to have good burst. But I imagine since he's around 220 pounds, that the top end speed is not going to be comparable to some of the guys running like a 10-5, 100. It's not noted. That being said, I'm guessing that. But his play style is going to be different. We're going to see a bigger running back with good vision. He was patient. And other schools noticed that. We're seeing Mizzou. We're seeing Auburn. We were productive back in 2022 with 1,400 yards, 2,200 yards in 2021, 649 in 2023. I imagine there was an injury or something that happened then. I imagine that happened and that might have hurt his recruiting profile. That might have hurt him a little bit. That being said, we go over here to On3. Four-star with ESPN and three-star with On3 and Rivals. And On3 has him ranked 78th among running backs. ESPN has him 28, 6 foot 1, 230. They got him bigger. They got him bigger. Auburn, Alabama, Houston, looking for that other team. Arkansas, Power 5 programs looking at him. But we're going to pull up the highlights see what he's working with let me know what you think in the comments below we have three minutes and 40 seconds we're gonna hit that play button definitely can tell who he is he's number two he's rumbling bumbling stumbling there he goes there he goes we're rolling pretty good there catch the ball in the backfield he looks huge he moves well for his size moves well in the open field for his size Remember, everything I said prior was off the scouting report. Everything I say now is off what I'm seeing right in front of me. He moves very well for size. He's a huge running back. Too huge for the high school level. He's he's looks college ready. He's going to be that one of those running backs at the college level that you're scrolling through names and you look over, you see a size, and drop your jaw because that's him. He's sudden. He's quick. He's quicker than advertised off the scouting report. His size adjusts athleticism might be underrated. And I think they count speed due to like straight up speed instead of counting it adjusted for size. Like we're 220, 230 range and we're moving pretty good in the second level. Like I think the recruiting sites, they need verified times that you run like 10, 5, 6, 8 or whatever. And they don't adjust for size. They don't have the capabilities of having straight up 40 times and averaging out size adjusted speed scores. Imagine if he had a size adjusted speed score with a 40 time comparable with everybody else in, in the classes. Historically, it'd be up there due to how big he is and how well he's moving in the second level. Like I'm saying, he's got good size adjusted athleticism. He's got good footwork. Patience, balance, vision's there. I would definitely say the size of just athleticism, the lateral agility, that's that's the trait that stands out the most. 
I can definitely understand why 24-7 Sports has them higher. and Yeah. Has them higher and rated much higher than On3 and everybody else. I want to know what happened in 2023. But when I'm watching them on tape, like, bigger guys move different. Don't expect a bigger running back to move like a like an average size or even smaller running back. You have to add that in. He moves. I, I love it. Look at him get low through that second level, bracing for contact. There's some pull away right there almost. He had to slow up. There was a guy in front of him. He's got some good pop in the step. There we go. He moves laterally very well. His feet is sweet. There was a reason why those top tier Power 5 schools, those SEC schools were looking at him. That was a clue that there's some things in his game. There's some... There's a clue with the stats with his 2023 game logs or whatever we were looking at. The stats there overall. That something happened in 2023. And that could have impacted where he went in the recruiting scenes. But he's got some size. Look at that. Good vision to him. Look at that. He's playing cat and mouse with linebackers too, trying to get bait them to suck it in. Sort of. He can be a grinder too. I think they're understating this guy. I think they need to look back at him. I think they need to go back and look at Burnett and think of him more of a size adjusted athlete than just straight up looking at his speed. Because what I see is a big running back that can move. Also, Going through the second level, he gets low. He's a taller back, but he can have that lower pad level. He's going to drive dudes back at the point of contact. His feet, especially for his size, especially when he's moving heavy going forward, moves laterally very well. He glides. He has good vision. He baits linebackers, trying to get them to suck in so he can cut it out. You see that. You see good vision and patience like they noted. You definitely see that on film. But the thing that stands out the most which really isn't documented on that scouting report, is that size of just athleticism. You get him in the second level, you get him going on the top end, he's got good burst for his size, he could definitely be nasty. He could be a nasty running back for Houston. He can make these schools regret passing on him. He could definitely do that. We got size to really pound it. He could be a big grinder too. He can grind it out. Play after play, attempt after attempt, too. He's got that size, might be even getting thicker, but he moves well. He carries it well. He's taller, too. I look for him to have some upside. I look for him to be a player that we need to watch and pay attention to. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.